Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Angelica Bonilla here with Excellent Real Estate in the HD and the Bonilla Group. So I know that there's a, a lot of questions that you might have. I'm pretty sure you guys probably all heard about the California Dream for All uh, First Time Home Buyer Program. Okay, so I just want to touch on a couple of things that people have been asking me. Okay, so the first thing that I want to talk about is that it's not just for every first time home buyer. You need to understand that it's for a home buyer that's a first generation home buyer, meaning that your parents don't own a home. A first generation home buyer is somebody that hasn't been on a title, hasn't hold an ownership interest in a home or a name on a mortgage to a home in the United States in the past seven years. Also, your parents do not currently have an ownership interest in a home in the United States, or they didn't have an ownership interest in a home at the time of death. Or if you have uh, spent some time in the foster care system. Okay, there's uh, things that you can uh, check. I mean, if you co-sign for somebody, and you don't live in the property, you're going to have to verify that. Okay. Let me stick to the, to, to my list. Okay. So yeah, so it's for a first generation home buyer. Okay. So, uh, that's number one. Okay. Cause I'm seeing a lot of, uh, lenders just say, Oh, you just have to be a first time home buyer. Okay. But you have to, one of the people that are going to be buying the home needs to be a first generation home buyer. And the other one, um, just needs to be a first time home buyer. It's fine. Doesn't matter if their parents own a home or have an interest in a home or none of that. Okay. So that's number one. Okay. Number two, uh, this is a program that is a lot or uh, like a lot of system. It doesn't just cause you apply, doesn't mean you're going to get it. Okay. There's only cer certain amount of money that is available for this program and um, they're only gonna take certain applications, okay? So you have to apply, okay? And so that's what I wanted to talk to you about how you are how you can apply, okay? So you need to talk to a lender that, talk to a lender that's Cal HFA approved lender, okay? So they're gonna tell you all of the documents that you need, the credit score that you're going to need. I'm not a lender, so I'm not going to talk to you about uh, interest rates. Okay. So, um, yeah, so the lender's going to give you all the information that you need to get together in order to qualify for this um, home program or loan program. Now, the second thing that you need to keep in mind is that, like I mentioned, just because you, uh, you apply for it doesn't mean you're going to get it. Okay. There's certain criteria that you need to meet. Okay. And there's also income limit that you need to uh, meet as well. So if you're in San Bernardino County, the income limit is 149,000. If you're in Riverside County, the income limit is 149,000. Okay. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind too. Okay. So whoever's going to be on the loan, you need to make less than 149,000 a year in, in order to be even looked at for this loan. Okay. What's another thing? Um, you're after you talk to a lender, okay. Uh, approved lender, then you're going to have all of your documents ready. And then, um, the program is going to open up online on April 4th to April 29th. Okay. So you can imagine how many people are going to be uploading their documents or, or putting in an application for the home loan. Okay. Another thing that a lot of people have been asking me, okay. It, um, how is the program going to work? Okay. So even, so the money that the program gives to you, which is 20% down and up to 150,000, they're going to want that money to be repaid to them when it's time for you to sell your home. Okay. And plus 20% of whatever money you are going to make off of the sale of the property. Okay. So it's very important to keep that in mind and actually understand that, that, uh, understand that 
because it, let's say you need to move, you need to sell the house and uh, you don't have the money to pay off the hundred grand, let's say that they, they lend you and then plus whatever 20%, okay, um, you need to have that money in order to sell the property, okay? So I think, this is another thing. I think that this program is gonna work best for somebody that knows that's gonna be living in the home for a while, like for a couple of years, okay? Just uh, to make sure that you do have, because it's called a share appreciation loan, okay? So to make sure that you do have, um, equity in the house. Okay. Uh, when it's time to sell. Okay. Cause you are going to be required to pay those funds back. Okay. This is another thing that you need to know. Those funds go back into the program to help other first generation home buyers like yourself be able to buy a home. Okay. So, I mean, there's a lot of things to consider. Okay. When using this program, um, yeah, uh, people see it as them getting money, but you're going to have to keep in mind too. This is another thing that this is a conventional loan. So like they're giving you 20% down, you're not going to have PMI insurance. Okay. So that's going to bring down your monthly payment. I'm going to give you an example in, in a different video. I'm just trying to run down certain items that people have been asking me. Okay. So yeah, you're going to have a lower monthly payment. Okay. But you need to keep in mind that when you sell, the, if you need to sell the house and you don't have equity or you don't have uh, any money, you have to pay back the money that they lend you. Okay. So I, this is something very important for you to keep in mind when you're thinking about using or applying for the California Dream for All program, okay? So um, I wanted to just cover uh, the, these main topics, okay? Which was the income limit in San Bernardino County. It's 149,000. You do, you, you do need to talk to a, a Cal HFA approved lender to get you qualified because you do need a pre-approval letter from the lender, okay? Meaning that they got all the documents and they got all the documents and they did pre-approve you for the loan, okay? And you also need to keep in mind that you're gonna have to apply when the program opens up, okay? Online, it says it's gonna be April 4th to April 29th. So that's a couple of things that I wanted to touch on. Okay, because I feel that a lot of uh, people are just saying that it's, oh, yeah, it's a program for uh, first time home buyers. It is for first time home buyers, but it's first generation home buyer, meaning that you haven't owned a home, your parents haven't owned a home, or you haven't had an interest in a property in seven years. Okay, I hope that I was able to give you uh, the information the right way and you're able to understand what I was trying to tell you. Okay, I don't wanna make this video too long, okay? But I just wanted to give you those key points and oh, also remind you that it, even if you apply for the loan, doesn't mean you're gonna get the loan. It's gonna be a lot, like a lotto system, okay? So, and once you get, you're in a, uh, you do get approved, you're gonna get a, a voucher after you get the voucher, you got, I think you have three months in order to find a home and uh, close on your escrow. So you have three months after you get, if you do get approved and you get the voucher, okay? So uh, watch out my for my next video. I'm gonna go into more details, like what's the first time home buyer, uh, just all of that, okay? So that's gonna be in my next video. All right, guys, I hope that this video gives you a little bit more clarity about what to expect and what you need to know the California Dream for All program for buying a home or getting your down payment payment paid for, okay? But you do need to pay it back. There's a big thing you need to keep in mind. You need to pay it back. 
My next video is going to be also the pros and the cons about using the California Dream for All program. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Angelica Bonilla here with Excellence Real Estate and the Bonilla Group. Bye, guys.